This was back with another tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be doing this on my pergola that I've been using, utilizing in uh, my main base. Uh, I know you, if you've watched the video, you've seen them throughout. Uh, there's one like right around the corner over here. I'll show you at the end. Uh, let me show you how I build one first and then we'll get into uh, the juice bar. I'll show you how we make that in this uh, tutorial as well. You're going to come over to building parts. And you know, I like to use this one the most. <laughs> Wood thin floor number three. Put one down. And you're gonna put another one. You're gonna make sure you have the that space right there, just like that. Another one there. Another one there. From up top, it should should look like, should look like that. Then you're gonna come over to beams and you're gonna grab rustic pillar. And you can see how it has. A flat side, a flat side, and then it's cut out uh, in the middle. You want that facing inside. Make sure you turn each corner and make sure that's facing in. Okay, so you can see it's flat all the way around. Finish off the floor really quick. Just gonna put one in each. There you go, the floor's done. Now the snap doesn't work very well uh, on this particular one, so you're gonna have to have a little bit of patience with this one. You're gonna come over to fences and you're gonna grab rustic railing number three. And then you're gonna wanna put it on, right, see, see we're not we're, we're not on the, the missing piece, we're right on the just that one little, this right here. And you're gonna wanna level it out um, it's easier with the mouse. I'm not sure how it is with the, uh, with, with the controller or console. And you're going to, I'm utilizing my left, right, up, down arrow buttons to help with that. I'm not, I'm, I'm assuming it's, it'll be the, uh, directional keypad, whatever it is for, or on controller, you're going to want to use, utilize that. Right now I'm tapping the, the keyboard. There you go. And you're gonna do that all the way around. Okay. Now that you have four up, you're gonna to want to re repeat this one and each one. And the reason why you have to do this is because it'll give you allow you to put the not right. It'll allow you to put the beams. Uh, across. So now you're going to put a beam just to the right of that, that one, and that one. You're going to have three. Again, use your your directional keys to help you with this part. That one's already lined up. It doesn't go all the way down. You see that line right there? I don't know if you can see. Let me put my torch in my hand. See if that'll help you. There's a line like just right at the bottom. That's where each each of the, the pillars are, that go across are gonna go. That's how you build the pergola. Now we'll do another one so we can uh, I can show you how we do the juice bar. So again, you're gonna wanna leave space because you need to put one more. So it's going to look just like before. Make sure the flat side's facing out and the cutout's facing in. So this one should have two. Okay, it should look like that. You can see in the juice bar, it looks like that. All right. And then we're gonna wanna put one in here. Actually, let's just go, yeah, we should do that. There you go. Oh, sun setting. Nice. And we're gonna do this all the way around again.
Like I said, this one you gotta be patient with because snap does not work. It wants to snap to something, but not what you want it to. There you go. Turned around that way. You see what I did? If you struggle, just turn the other way. I have a lot of structures in my area right now, so that's probably why it's trying to snap to something else. Oh, did that one wrong again. Oh, trying to get it. Sun setting is going to rain here. In a, in a minute. Again, to the right, each one. Drop it just at that line. There you go. Top part's done. And you just fill in your floor. And there you go. That's how you have two pergolas uh, next to each other. And then you can just decorate how you want. Or if you want to do the juice bar, I'll show you how he did that. Come grab traditional counter. It's a corner one. Sure it's on the edge. It's gonna... yeah, we're good. Then you're gonna grab the narrow one. Then you can come to your, your machine, then you can put the juice bar in. Then I come back to the narrow counter. Like that. Like that. It's wrong. Back there. We're going to take this one out. That one's being stubborn. Then we're going to put one next to it. I'm going to put these all the way across. There you go. And then now you can put the bar in. You're going to come back to surfaces. We are looking for this one right here. Traditional counter. That's the double one. Two of those in. Okay. And then you can come to stools. Or the, the, the chairs. And grab the stools. There you go. The juice, part, juice bar part is done. And then I have additional seating over here. Plank railing number three. And then you can put, you can put whatever you want. I have the table in. Uh, actually, I'm using the stools in mine. Or the round stool. I think I have one in each corner. As well as I have two lights so you can see at nighttime. That's what I'm using right here. This this particular wall light that is wall light round. And there you go. That's the juice bar. 
I have mine closed off over here because it goes with my current build. So you can close this off how you need to. Uh, but that's how you would build it. Again, you can center these a little bit better once once you have it built. There you go. That's how you build it. Again, this is how it looks with my torch away. How they look inside my village. I have built two of them. Actually, I have one more over there. It's still not decorated yet. I hope that helps.